hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you saw i did a heart with um my worm chow for the, <laughs> the louisiana swamp worms and in three days it's gone so <laughs> but look at them they're right here on the surface i just love them so much um oh look there's a little bundle right here i wonder why here I mean, you saw the heart I did. It wasn't anything, you know, spectacular. I don't know. They're so crazy, these worms. I just love them. They're eating everything. This will be ready for harvesting soon. But as you can see, there's a lot of young worms in here. Yeah. Well, if you love worms and gardening... Um, and nature stuff. Sometimes I do nature stuff because I just have, you know, a love for so many things. <laughs> Press that subscribe button. Watch my videos. There's none in that corner. And share with family and friends. You know, I appreciate you all. Yeah. They seem to be here where I put the food. Um, people have asked me when I'm going to ship worms again. You know, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to ship worms again. That's something that I'm thinking about that I have to decide. My main supplier um, retired. And I don't just take worms from any supplier and ship them. I don't. My quality, my, my standard of quality is very high. And I don't know. I just... I have to be able to trust a supplier 100% and sometimes I just don't. I I just don't. I've learned a lot through the years doing this. 23 years on Monday. And I've been burned quite a few times from, you know, suppliers and stuff. But then when you find a good one, um, they go and retire on you <laughs> after a few years. So, and, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad that this person retired. I mean, it's, it's time for them if, they, if that's what they want, you know. I'm very happy for them. But um, I'm not sure, you know. And in order to have my own supply in bulk to ship, to multiply this room, it's taken a lot of, it, it's a lot of work, a lot of physical work that I don't know if I can really do 100% anymore. But what I can do is um, I'm going to switch my website from Wix to Shopify and see if Shopify has more options for me. I would like to create a course or teach um, more than, you know, ship worms. Because even though I might not ship worms again, my knowledge and experience is still there. And I want to continue to make YouTube videos for you all also. So, you know, sometimes, guys, life changes and you have to adapt or you just don't do it anymore and you know i don't ever want to give it up so i have to adapt look at that how cute he's a little baby see what baby worms look like they always have a little color to them some people think baby worms are like 100 percent white they're not when they're 100 percent white it's not a baby worm usually it's probably a pot worm but look, you can see how little that worm is. And it does have a little color. So he's going to go right back. This is a stump of the pop, uh, pumpkin I gave him. But anyway, I'm going to give them... I found the frozen corn on the cob in my freezer. So I like to freeze the food for the worms usually. Because sometimes when I feed fresh food, like without being frozen, um, that's how you get fruit flies and things like that. But usually when it's frozen, they're okay. So this is frozen. You know what? Let's do this. Let me just put a couple here like that. Lay it down. And then I'm going to go like this. That way we could keep an eye on it. And this is... This is going to take a bit. But I think that eventually once it thaws out and they'll get themselves in there. If it takes them a long time, I'll take the husk off. And then we'll see how they do like that. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, so you know what's what's going on. But other than that, I mean, everything's good. You know, winter is strong here this year. So, <laughs> just trying to get through it. 
Well, here we are, guys. A couple of days later, and let's take a look at the corn. It looks like some mold is growing, and those white things are the little white things are springtails. You can see them there clearly. They're always going to be in your compost bins. They're just part of that world. But I want to see what's underneath. So let's. Well, before I do that, look. See this little thing here? That little lemon. That's a cocoon. Babies. All right, let's see. So these are the Louisiana swamp worms. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I just love them. They're loving this corn. Mm. Now I put this corn. Look at this. Is this like the cutest little worm ball? <laughs> they're definitely enjoying the skin. And I know they're going to reach this part. So I put this in here frozen. And I feel the Louisiana swamp worms can handle it. And so do the red wigglers and euros. I would never put something frozen like that with the African night crawlers because they're very cold sensitive and they don't like it. And it'll it, if it touches them, it could kill them. So <laughs> poor things, I know. They're tropical. Oh, that's a little baby right there. They're definitely loving this. And I put this in about I think it was about four days ago. So they're all here. So, you know, one thing about worms is um, they have a sweet tooth. Believe it or not, worms have a sweet tooth and they will congregate to anything that breaks down really, but they love things that are sweet. And the reason I know that is because I noticed that they flock to that faster. I mean, look at them, they're gorgeous. Now I've gotten a few messages from people asking me if I'll have um, African night crawlers for sale. You know, I'm still not sure. The ones I have here in the wormery is my own stock that I keep. Um, and it's very hard for me to get them to multiply in here, to be honest with you, because of the temperature. My wormery is climate controlled, but it's also in my finished basement. And even though I have the heat on, it just gets cold down here. Um, they do okay as long as I don't have like a big ice storm and we lose power. But the coolness, I think, prevents them from like really thriving. But I'm able to keep them, you know. I don't think enough for sale though. Um, I did have a supplier for them. But he retired. So, you know, I don't know if I'll have a new supplier. So that's that's just the truth. You know, I understand people get tired. They do this for 30 years and then they're like, oh, we want to retire. <laughs> All right, let's give them their corn back. I, I just love this so much. Look at them. They're all tangled up in this little mesh over here, but they're, they're doing their thing. So I'm going to put this all back here and I'm going to cover them again. This time, let's just cover the whole thing. Let's see what happens. I love these kind of experiments. It also helps me to learn more about them, believe it or not, after, you know, 23 years. I don't know everything about them. And anytime I even think, oh, I know everything about worms, boom, they do something different. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so we're always learning. So let's put this back. I did see something growing in here. Oh, it's a seed. Okay, we'll just leave them in there. And sometimes I'll put like, like a pumpkin piece and the seeds grow. And what I do with the little plants, I just pull them up and just throw them back in there and it just becomes more warm food so but these guys are like everywhere this is warm chow i was feeding them so all right let's see i'll check again in a few days